and welcome to Tech Tool India. Today I am going to explain you how you can make login and registration in Laravel 9. If you want to know how you can install Laravel 9, you can get a link in the description or you can click on the i button to see the installation step. So without wasting any time, let's get started. If you are new to the channel, please do subscribe our channel to get the latest update on Laravel. So let's get started. To make login and registration in Laravel 9, I am going to use Laravel UI package which will serve you the login and registration module with Bootstrap, Vue.js or React.js. You can use any one of them based on your requirement. So let's see how we can install this. So this is a Laravel UI GitHub repository i'm going to link this repository into description you can find out from there so if you go to the installation steps it, these steps are very simple to install laravel ui package you need to run this composer command let's copy this i'm inside the first laravel project i'm if you see we have laravel 9 installed and we don't have any login and registration as of now so let's go into a code, install this Laravel UI package via Composer. I have just pasted the Laravel UI command. As you see, it has installed the Laravel UI via Composer and it's completed. Let's see what are the next step. If you want to generate basic scaffolding, so you can run these command PHP artisan UI and the based on what you want, like Bootstrap, Vue or React. You can use any one of this or as we are generating the login and registration scaffolding we will use php artisan ui bootstrap with auth so let's get copy this command and run this command as you see bootstrap scaffolding is installed we need to run npm install and npm run dev let's run the npm install here it is going to take a time and install the npm dependency for this you can read all the documentation i will link out this repository in the description you can check it out from there let's run npm run dev it's successful and it generated two file inside a public folder one is js app.js another is css app.css so if i go ahead and refresh this page now you can see on the top right corner we have login we have register so we have login and register here let's see what has changed inside a database and views if you go inside views now you can see this auth folder inside this auth folder you see all the authentication uis like login register verify and password confirm password email and then reset so all these are generated through this laravel ui package if i just list down the routes available if you run this command php artisan root list now you can see we have login logout password confirm password email password reset and register so these all login and registration routes are generated through laravel ui package let's set up the database and run the migrations if you see here i need to create a database let's open a database and we need to create a new database here new and we will use our laravel first nine as the name of the database and let's create it so right now we don't have any table go into the project and run our migration by php artisan and migrate as you run the migration you'll see this users table password reset table failed jobs and the personal access token so these are the tables which is migrated let's go into database and see you see we have now a users table available migration table 
password reset and personal access token and the failed jobs. These are the default migration which Laravel comes up with. If you want to see the migration, you can go to the database. Inside a migration folder, you will find all the migration written there. So let's go to our browser and see if we can able to register this. I'm entering test data here. Let's enter the password. Yep. You can see I am able to log in. If I click on here as a logout, I'm able to log out. If I just, you know, try to access with another password, it's giving me the error. If I use the same password, so it I'm able to log in. So it's very easy to make login and registration on the level 9 in the next video i'm going to explain how you can manage to change your password after login i hope this is informative for you if you find this video helpful for you please do subscribe our channel please do like this video and if you have any issue regarding login and registration in level 9 please do comment down to this video i will try to answer all of your queries in the comment till the next video keep watching keep learning Thank you for watching.